Uh, welcome guys this will be the last video of this paid course so in this video we will be showing you how we, we can basically download the thumbnail here so the thumbnail preview is showing right here we will be looking at if the user select standard quality click on the download button then the image will be downloaded and a notification will also be shown to you so how we can achieve that for this specific purpose guys we have created this service worker backgrounds.js file and here we will be calling this uh, inside our download thumbnail we will remove this alert statement inside this guys we will first of all get the quality and the directory if the user has provided a directory as well you we will create a directory here you will say document get element by id which is download directory we have given that id in the html we will get the value similarly we will do it for the quality as well of quality of the thumbnail from the drop down so we have given a id to it of download quality so if you just notice inside our pop up html we have given these ids download quality and download directory so we are just uh, targeting it by using this document get element by id function after that guys we will again use the chrome runtime api we will send out a message to the now the background file so inside this there is an action here we will provide the action to be download thumbnail you can call this action anything and then guys put a comma we will pass two information the quality and the directory so we are passing multiple variables right here we are also passing the quality and also we are passing the directory so now we this is complete guys this pop up js code is complete now we need to listen for this event download thumbnail inside our background file so how we can do that we can say chrome runtime on message add listener so this is the same method guys which we have used inside content script as well you can see that and also we have used inside pop up js so this will remain the same irrespective of the file so this contains the callback function request sender send response this is a callback function so here we will just be looking for that if condition that if action dot sorry if request dot action triple equal to if the action is for the download thumbnail in that case guys what we will say we will have this if uh, curly brackets so right here guys first of all what we will say uh, we will first of all get the information about the current query so we will say chrome tab api we will again use chrome tabs query and right here inside this you will pass the active to true and current window to also true so this will basically return the information about the particular tab guys as we saw in the earlier step as well this returns a callback function and it will return the information the tabs here so here you will first of all select the current tab which is the zero tab here we will get the url from the tab like new url tab dot url so this tab contains a property here which is the tab dot url if i console log this message you will see guys what i am talking about uh, if i basically go to manage extensions and just reload this so if i basically tap on this so what you will see just launch this service worker and once again tap on this click download thumbnail and now you will see basically this service worker file if i show you go to manage extension now you can see that guys this basically contains a response out there we are printing out this on line number 6 if you see we are printing out the url here so this is the information about the url currently which url we are on currently on so we are on this url this is the youtube.com host name all that stuff so we are getting the url here the information about that so after you do that guys what we need to do we need to extract the video id so what we can say video id 
uh, url dot search parameters dot get v so this will get the uh, video id and quality as you see we have passed this quality using the request object and also directory as well request dot directory so both these options we have passed inside the request object as we passed this here you can see quality and directory we are catching it using the request object so now guys after doing this we will basically declare a file name so this file name guys which will be dynamic every time this will be unique so we will use the date dot now function and then we will concatenate thumbnail underscore the quality so whichever quality that the user select dot jpg so this will be the file name guys so now we will say the thumbnail url which will be equal to https image youtube dot com slash vi slash the video id slash the quality of the thumbnail so quality and dot jpg so this is basically the thumbnail url that we will be downloading guys so now to download this it's very simple we will say that the options we will configure the options the url will be the actual thumbnail url and then save as this is useful for downloading the file as an attachment save as will be false file name will be the actual file name that we provide and conflict conflict action we need to set this property as unify u n i q u i f i unify and then guys what we will say we will say that if the directory exist if the user has provided a directory name uh, let me what happened here so if the user has provided a directory name in that case guys we will say that options dot file name we will uh, change this file name we will add the directory as well so we will say if user has provided the directory we will download it inside that directory file name will be like this you can see that so just close this curly bracket that's all so if the user has provided the directory this will be true in that case we will modify the property which is the file name that's all so after this guys we also need to generate a notification as well so for generating a notification guys it's very simple we will use the downloads download method and then we will say the options so this will actually download the file as an attachment and now to basically create a notification we will say chrome notifications dot create and then inside this notification this will be a basic notification type will be basic the title of the notification will be as a thumbnail downloaded thumbnail downloaded and the message here will be the uh, the thumbnail image which is file name has been saved or has been downloaded that's all you can even provide an icon as well guys so icon url this will be icon dot png the same icon that we are using so that's all guys this is all the application uh, note chrome extension is complete so now we can test this extension we can simply reload and now if you basically tap on this click on the uh, download button and now you can see that guys this notification is generated th thumbnail downloaded and uh, if you open this thumbnail you will see this is a thumbnail is downloaded you can uh, achieve this for any video here let's suppose i open this video you can click download thumbnail the thumbnail is downloaded so in this paid course guys we saw that how we can create a basic chrome extension a real life chrome extension which basically grabs the thumbnail of the youtube video whichever youtube video you are currently viewing right here it basically uh, downloads the thumbnail here you can create uh, you can just basically do for any video here you can see that 
you can also change the maximum resolution to standard definition so now this thumbnail will be saved here you can see that and let's suppose you want to save it in a different directory let's suppose uh, my thumbs click download and now this will be saved inside my thumbnails so if you basically open this show in folder so it has created this folder guys which is my thumbs you will see that so so thank you very much guys for watching this paid course if you have enrolled inside my paid membership this will be the course that you saw and uh, in the future as well more courses will be available like this and uh, thank you very much for watching this all the source code is given in the description of the video as well you can find it out so thank you very much